Awesome, we're moving along, coming up to the stage right now. This cat uh, has been on the Dallas scene quite a while. You guys are gonna love this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Herndon. Thank you, folks. Appreciate that. Guys, I came here uh, tonight from uh, Mesquite, Texas. That's the proper response to that. You've never really been there. That was so fake. I love living in Mesquite. I really do. I love I love living in Dallas, in the Dallas DFW area. It's great. Love living in Texas? Yeah! What I'm trying to say is I, I love not living in Oklahoma anymore. Bookie's on the front row. Shit. Let's bring Butch back up the stage. Get out of here. No, but I, I broke my uh, my dad's heart moving down here. He hates it. He, he he tells me things like, "So you moved the big city, huh? Now you're all smart and educated. Like I, you know, learned a secret or something." Yeah, Dad, I learned to. If you live in Oklahoma and you want to be smart and educated. All you have to do is move. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I, I, got here, I got my teeth fixed and I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys letting me stay. <laughs> I will not sin for my family. Um, but I nearly killed my dad though. I said, Dad, I'm not, I'm not Southern Baptist anymore either. I'm studying Buddhism. I'm a vegetarian and I, I don't pray to Jesus Christ anymore, Dad. I'm, I'm learning to meditate. You mean to tell me that you no longer eat meat? Because <laughs> in Oklahoma, I get, you can give up on Jesus Christ, but just not Jimmy Dean's. No. <laughs> so, you can, but you know things are a lot easier for me now, though, uh, since I know that I'm not going to heaven. Thank you. I don't be alone. It used to scare me. It really scared me when I was a kid. I thought, what am I going to do when I get to heaven? And I run into one of these big guys like Noah. So Steve, what'd you do to get in the pearly gates? Oh Noah, when I was seven, I said a sinner's prayer and died, and here I am. They let you in for a prayer? Steve, do you know what I had to do to get in here? <laughs> you ever read the Bible? <laughs> the biggest boat in the world, the ark, Noah's ark, I made that, Steve. Had to put every animal on earth on that ark times two. Steve, have you ever tried to catch a cheetah? <laughs> You in for a Moses wandered the desert 40 years to get in here, Steve. 40 years, you stu stupid sack of shit. <laughs> and Job, don't even get Job started. That son of a bitch will stab you. <laughs> Said a prayer to get in here. Jesus Christ, Steve. <laughs> I really am a vegetarian, though, guys, because I, I feel like I deserve a reason for my unhappiness. Thank you. That night, I love all the stupid questions I get. So you're vegetarian, huh? Do they let you drink beer? <laughs> you know, I'm a 42-year-old grown-ass man with a wife and a kid. I can drink whatever the hell my wife lets me. <laughs> so, please don't tell her I'm here tonight, guys. Kid keeps your mouth shut. Um, <laughs> but, uh, for the most part, guys, I am a miserable person. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've no success. I've done nothing successful with my life. I mean, I, I do have a nine-year-old daughter, so I did do sex right once. <laughs> Just can't write that on your resume. <laughs> Give me enough time. I can make a kid. It's probably why I have no success. It's 2014 and I'm handwriting a resume. I word rooster, let's hire this one for the firm. He knows cursive. I don't love cursive. 
I'm from Oklahoma. Did you catch that part of it? This route with rocks. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys about? I, have a, I do have a nine-year-old daughter. When she's six, she called me hypocrite. That hurt. That really hurt. I said, why would you call me a hypocrite, sweetie? I don't know, Dad. It just sounded like a funny word. So I explained to her that, to call me any, any other word, say any other word. She said, happiness. I said, way better. Happiness, right. And she said, no, Dad, cat penis. <laughs> sweetie, why in the world would you say cat penis? I don't know, Dad. It just sounded like a funny word. So I explained to her that she just can't go through life saying whatever she wants to people just to make them laugh. She called me a hypocrite. <laughs> it seems that she's seen my set, guys. <laughs> we'll just set the table right behind you so you can turn and show your ass to everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But I've been married 21 years. That's not necessary. She, she fucking hates me. You don't have to do that. Uh, <laughs> my friends are like, Steve, how'd you do it? 21 years, man. How do you do it? I said, well, I explained to them, you just have to find that, that perfect person, that special someone, and you hold on to them and hold them as close as you can. Never let them go. And most of all, don't let your wife find out about them. <laughs> you will be fine. 21 years, it's mostly because we don't argue. Uh, she did come at me with this last week. She's like, you know, maybe there's something more you need in this relationship. Maybe there's just something more that, that I don't have. Sweetie, have you seen this haircut? These clothes? I drive a minivan, guys. What I'm trying to say is I'm willing to settle. <laughs> so shut up with that shit, finish brushing your tooth. <laughs> Go back to bed. Thanks, guys. Um, I'll leave you with this one. Uh, I'm getting older now, and I hate it. I mean, I know I'm not dead yet, but I can certainly tell the dying has started. <laughs> with me on that one. I have sleep apnea. For those of you that don't know what that is, that, that's a sleeping disorder where your brain decides that life is just not, just not worth living anymore. It tries to convince your lungs, just, just give up the fight. <laughs> Brain. What are you doing down there, man? He's asleep. Take a break. <laughs> Let's kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's been great. My name's Steve Harvey.